All right, y'all. Hello, uh, I'm Chase. That's Timothy. Uh, we got a shipment of Visvin boots recently. Some that we have had prior, some we haven't had, some that are kind of like, you know, similar to ones we've had in, in the past, but a different yeah. style name maybe. So uh, we had a fun idea of maybe talking about how we'd like to style them with pants. You know what I'm saying? So how the pants would interact with the shoe. I would imagine that if you're on this channel and you're watching this video, you understand the severe importance that uh, someone like, you know, people like us, uh, you know, how much we consider the interplay between pants yeah. and shoes. Yeah. So we kind of wanted to talk about that, like how we would choose a pants for these kinds of boots. Because maybe this is like taller than you're used to. Maybe it's a little slouchier. Maybe that's a little more dressed up. Yeah. Like we're just going to talk about how we personally would, would style up shoes and boots, really just boots actually in this case, uh, how they would, uh, you know, how you'd, how you'd style them, you know, yeah. at, at different heights and different pants and different yeah. styles. So we got some pants here. We got some fun socks to accompany them, uh, taking into account color, obviously. But yeah, so I mean, let's just hop right into it. Yeah. This is the Brigadier. Yep. We've had the Brigadier in seasons past. Since we've previously had them, uh, this changed up a little bit. Notably, the sole is more more uh, just like straight down the previously there's a little bit more height to the sole and had more of like a little Cuban shape almost you know what I'm saying we had yeah. them in the suede so these I, are like a little bit more every day even though yes. you still get the really interesting like height difference between the mm -hmm. soles mm -hmm. really classic I mean I would almost kind of like think about this almost like the icon indie boot you know at one yeah. time yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind yeah. of play it like it's got that little bit slimmer silhouette super clean I really like the tonality of these because yeah. they're also going to age really great plus there's like a lot of cool details like the the you know the way the leather's already kind of beat up this custom vibram sole i mean it's, yeah. it's a really it's it's a it's a hard wearing boot so yeah. even though it has this like slightly dressier look than most visvums like these are these yeah it's it's still gonna you know you can still wear this super casual and comfortable and easy you know what heel saying? is literally screwed on yeah. i think that's dope yeah, cool detail really cool. you know but yeah like timbo said they have the visvim branded vibram vibram sole uh stompers yeah feel really sturdy and yeah more than anything probably the most wearable iteration yeah. of these that we've so, seen still elegant still clean still maybe a little bit dressier than the rest but also i would not look at this as like a dress boot by any means yeah so let's maybe talk do we want to talk through the styling first or do you want to go through all no let's them? talk let's just do it as we go yeah, yeah so, okay. so you know so it's a little tighter to the top of the ankle yep. we don't have it's not terribly high you yeah. know what i'm saying so I you're would, gonna also see a depending on where this the the pant lands you're gonna see a little bit more of the yeah, ankle on yeah, this yeah, one yeah, so it's yeah, to yeah. note so we pulled a couple pants yeah let's start let's start with this one so we thought it'd be nice to style it with like here i'm gonna put this down if you yeah. want to take over i'll go ahead and hold the pants got it so this is the rf jean right chase yeah so rfg from engineered garments a little bit more tapered but nice and full here scoot over this way chase a little bit more a little bit more full in like the top lock but you know a little bit of taper i think a little bit of taper here is going to be super helpful full with a boot that's a little like tighter around the ankle yeah. too so you get a little bit of that that play you know what i mean and it keeps it nice and thin without doing too much especially because you got the room in the top lock so it's not gonna feel stuffy we thought it'd be nice paired and you know we'll cut some video in here but um you know with the white and this like kind of like stark you know kind of ivy gray and then playing with that cognac color i feel like it's kind of like ivy and cool but yeah. still casual and nice yeah. so i think that's super cool and then for this other one i think you know traditionally people are going to look at a black boot like this and think you have to dress it up so i still think that you have to kind of keep that in mind but i also I don't think it needs to be hyper dressy. So Chase pulled this really great really cafe pant from Liam Frederick. What I really like about this, big proponent, Chase knows this. I like a trouser hem on a pair of jeans and that's what's going on here. So it's like, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that kind of with this. So you yeah okay don't forget you don't have a mic but the uh but you get like this like a uh, roomier leg trouser hem yeah. and then playing with that black i really think that like this kind of almost grayscale blue with the black looks excellent and then yeah. i picked this like tie-dye thing to like so it's not too serious you get this which kind of plays off the blue in the jean but also pulls some nice color out of the black as yep. well so you get a you get a little like a, it's just a lot less stuffy even yeah. though you know silhouette lies it's gonna look nice and clean moving on moving on we got the cossack boot this year uh so in typical Visvin fashion got a lot of textures going on here we've got this like super organic hide here in the front a little bit of like a pebbled leather on that heel counter and then uh again a contrasting leather going all the way up what would you what would you consider these uh someone we're gonna we're gonna get uh in trouble here but would you call this a lineman boot? Yeah, kind of like a logging like, it's, boot it's, it's in that realm. It's definitely pulling from that. I know yeah. it's pulling vintage military. It has yeah. an old motorcycle shoe. I think there's a lot of inspirations being grabbed here. Yep. Um, I'm sure someone that's a crazy like a uh, Goodyear welt type of person is going to yell at us for that. But for the most part, I do think this is being. There's a lot of inspirations pulled into one into one boot here. Yep. So I, one thing I wanted to point out here, I thought was really cool when I got them. It looks like they finished the sole, finished the sole like as in sanded the sole. Yep. And then they took some sort of like hammer or something, kind of whooped on it. It looks it makes like a cool. 
texture. When you do, when you like distress guitars, you use old chains and kind of beat them with it, so you get oh, you like in, yeah, in unnatural yeah. dents and stuff. That's honestly what it looks like, Sick. which is really cool because it's just like what I like about the, this kind of distressing on a boot like this is that you're already in on this. You know what I mean? Like it's you're it's worn in a little bit, so yeah. you're getting right into it. Yeah. You don't feel like you're you know it's the worst when you get the pretty new boot and you have to like the first couple of dings really hurt. Yeah, yeah. Then it looks good over but time. But it has to but happen, but it does hurt. Yeah. This you're getting started already. Plus the textures are really gonna all change at different rates, and I think that's when you'll get like a really interesting like look yep. to them as well. Yep. So this is a big gnarly boot, no question. So I think that a lot of people like kind of struggle with that, don't know what to do. And I, you know, especially, especially myself who doesn't always like to play like a big gnarly boot with like a with yeah. softer silhouettes. We're gonna try to show you how to do that while still kind of maintaining like a, a yeah. look here. So let's start with the- um, Got the Century Denim yeah. from Capital. So we all five. know and love. Yeah. It's nice, it's that brownish color with the blue that runs through. And again, so, we're gonna, we're cutting video in on this. So. Yeah, so we're trying to, I'm also trying to like show this a little bit too, where it's like, you see a black boot like this and I think you, everyone thinks, oh, I gotta put like a black pant with it. I don't think that's true, especially when you get the sole as being, you know, the the brown. Yeah. You're just pulling, you, you already can got the contrast. just do whatever you need it to be. Also worth noting, you know, you, you get the contrast of like the tan from the leather itself. Yeah, exactly. In, in, in the yeah. clicking exactly. and so. Yeah. So I think that like th this kind of color pattern is gonna and pattern is gonna look really nice with this and it'll and it'll kind of all blend in at that point too because there's a lot of different highs and lows yeah. going on yeah. there and then I just thought it'd be cool to kind of take this like uneven dyed pink sock and put that with it because it draws in a little bit of that reddish hue of the pant but also it kind of like softens the whole look so you don't go full like you know moto gang energy yeah. so you can kind yeah. of soften it up a yeah. little bit yeah. at the same time and then for the brown I mean I, I think that you guys know that we were gonna do this but we did a there's a here we got did a, a green, green pant a green fatigue now the nice thing about this this is the lighter weight rip stop yeah. right so it looks really it has a little bit of flow to it even though it's a little crisp i mean give honestly, it a couple washes when you get it say, and yeah you... one cold wash and air dry and yep. then wear and you're good to go so it's gonna be super soft a little bit more draped to it it's gonna look nice with this because you get that kind of military look but these are also relatively flowy like it's gonna mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of unnaturally fall onto the top of the boot which we'll show when we style it yes. that's kind of the point we want it to kind of hang and just get caught yep. up and yep. caught no, on these fussy. speed on these speed hooks exactly. that kind of thing yeah. yeah make it look yeah not instead fussy. of working against it because if you got speed hooks on any boot you're getting caught doesn't up, matter yeah that we're, we, we wanted to play it kind of on purpose in yeah. that direction and then i chose like a, a sock with a little bit of green in it so you kind of pull from the green kind of cleans the whole thing up so the opposite of what i did with the pink where i'm trying to like soften it i figured this in this case we're kind of like trying to like you know dress it up just a smidge yeah so it's kind of like always creating and you know actually we can owe this to uh from the aaron levine episode but it's like always creating of the podcast yeah. it's always creating tension so you're kind of yeah. trying to create a little bit of tension here of like you know softening this time tough look up dressing this like more casual look. yeah yeah you know what i mean so you're just yeah, doing it, yeah. the opposite of whatever just to give it so when you see that hit of the sockets you get something from yeah, yeah. It, you know what i mean a little fun a little yeah. fun hit yeah okay moving on uh we got the seven holes in uh we have not had seven holes i don't believe previously don't think at, so. at canoe club but uh these are sick so this sole is similar to what i'm remembering from the old brigadier sole got a little bit of that cuban heel the same kind of like whooped on treatment yep. as the cossack boot we have the zipper on the interior so if you got a really pop out of your shit real quick you got to go somewhere you got to put them on a uh, really cool boot uh tonal eyelets we got the tonal canvas here with the stitching going through creating some uh, nice little diagonal pattern which i think looks cool and yeah obviously the the hyper organic uh imperfect hide on that front quarter really like what's the really cool about these especially when you see them in person is the amount of differentiation and these are not this is not a perfect boot you know what yeah, i mean like yeah i'm not talking about materials i'm not talking about shape i'm not talking about any of that when you see the stitching this is a tough leather and tough like style to work with you see some of the imperfections which i think yeah. is so cool and you see all the imperfections in the top height of the of yep. that leather yep. you really see all these like natural i mean the point is that it looks like a boot that you've worn for ages yeah so you really get that with these especially with that canvas because you can see how like crushable and easy yep. the wear yep. that is yep. even though it's super hardcore and crazy so i mean like I, it's, it's a these are these are probably my favorite in the collection because i just yeah. think that there's like so much going on yeah and they kind of play to so many styles this could totally be kind of streetwear and like elevated or it can be sort of like really rough up in like yeah like rugged woodsy yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah 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 totally with this first black one we wanted to kind of again tension so you get all this crazy but then this is the la mer work pant so the nice thing about this is it's like you know a pretty elegant take on a work pant yep so you're gonna pull some of the elegance and then but it's still you got the little you know little cargo pocket and yep. stuff and yep. it, hits it has a cool side. twisted seam yep and then for the the sock i chose this one right here and what i like about it is that you get like you know you get the blacks and the grays that are already inside of this and you can see all the highs and lows in these different yep. shades of black but you also 
also get a little hit of that that kind of like natural mousy brown on yeah, the back, yeah. which you're kind of also seeing throughout. Through the stitching, because it's exactly. contrast, so it kind of yeah. just continuation of the texture. Which again, and then the highs and lows of this pant, um, being that it's like a washed out black twill, you're seeing some grays and some deeper blacks, and I think all of that plays yeah. you know, kind of really nicely together. You know, a trick I learned in a showroom a long time ago was if you're unsure of like how something should sit together on like a rack, you take all the fabrics and you sort of twist them together and you look at just that kind of mess of colors yeah. and see if it plays well together. Yeah, it's cool. So it's, you do it with the sleeves. In this case, I'm just kind of doing it when you mush it all together. All those colors and everything just look really nice. Yeah. So yeah. it makes sense to me. Dope. All right. And on this last one, wanted to play a little bit more into the military thing because of the color pattern and all this. But so we want, I wanted something that had like the ties at the bottom just because yeah. I think that looks really cool hanging with all this. Yeah, whether you tie them or not, it adds like that extra little bit of interest. It's just kind of flowing around, I think that's imperfect. The way, yeah. That's the way to say it. Just add some interest yeah. to it. And it kind of feels very like old school paratrooper type of stuff, yeah. which sort of yeah. makes sense with this shoe. And then I actually hit it with like uh, these old like gym socks. Yeah, yeah, I, I know those. you love yeah, these. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. Um, it, it looks cool together. It kind of looks like old and retro for whatever yeah. reason. It just really plays and I think it's kind of cool to take it yeah. away from military only influence instead of just doing like a you know tonal beige wool sock yeah I think it's cool to do something like this which feels like yeah, a little one of, too yeah retro and sporty yeah, yeah. and stuff so again just trying to create some a little bit of tension through yeah it. overall I'd say you can't really go wrong here I mean this the, the, the nice thing about this selection is you've got a little bit of like every every type of style that Visvum does in one yep. selection dressy you know kind of a little bit more severe and somewhere in the middle yep you know what I mean and so I, I don't think you can really go wrong we just wanted to show some different ways to style it so it's not just like one thing and I think a lot of times when you see lookbooks you see one way of styling something yep. and it's the brand's vision and that's a great vision but we also want to show you some other ways that you don't get locked yeah. in on like yeah. it can only be worn like this it doesn't make sense for me yep so yeah, so there yeah, we mix go. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah, so Obviously hopefully that you've helps. Got, you, you know, whether you've got these pieces, you're going to snatch these pieces. You got something in your closet that probably has exactly. a similar silhouette, similar 100%. fabric treatment. So, you know, so. Yeah, we're more trying to create a way to rethink about color and fabric and yeah. weights and, yeah. you know. Agreed. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Cool. Well, hopefully you had fun too. Um, do the like. I'm never good at this part. I said I was going to stop saying it, but like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> uh, listen to our podcast, customer service podcast, anywhere podcasts are found. If you own a company, you want us to sponsor it. We're happy to read ads for you. That's fun. We got Patreon. Sign up for the Patreon yeah, if you yeah. want exclusive access to sales. Yes. If you want to make sure that you know when these drop before everyone else does, sign up for the Patreon. If you like this kind of thing, we do more of this on there that aren't released to everybody else. Yep. Really just like over and over, we got tons of cool stuff going on. So come find us. Think overall, if you have any ideas on how you would style them differently and you want to argue with us, you can drop that downstairs. All good. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll. Other than that, be in touch. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Bye.